The College Lodge Forest in western New York is a true biodiversity hotspot. The 168 acres of forest and wetland are home to more than 500 species of plants and a rich community of wildlife. At the heart of the Western New York Land Conservancy's campaign to save this amazing site is 15 acres of old growth forest. But what is it that makes an old growth forest so special? Trees change as they age. The trunks of old growth trees often develop kinks and curves while remaining thick high up into the crown. The branches in the crown also become thickened and twisted with time. Bark changes too, like the flaky bark of this young hemlock compared to an older hemlock with deeply ridged and furrowed bark. Old growth forests are also home to the biggest trees around, and that's important. Recent research has shown that over 50% of a forest's biomass is contained in its largest 1% of trees. Often the biggest trees are not the oldest, but rather the ones that were in the right place at the right time to grow quickly. Based on the bark and crown of this tree, it's probably not more than 250 years old. Maybe it grew in the space that was opened up by a tree that was blown down in one of the intense thunderstorms that blows off Lake Erie in the summer. Dead trees are an important part of an old growth forest. Birds and bats nest in hollows. Rotting fallen logs called nurse logs provide a space for the next generation to sprout. All of this carbon rich woody debris feeds a diverse community of fungi. These fungi play a key role in cycling nutrients back into the soil. This allows old growth forests to act as a carbon sink. About half of the old growth at the College Lodge is a rare, specialized type of habitat called a rich hemlock hardwood peat swamp. The cold, nutrient-rich groundwater that feeds these swamps creates a microclimate that supports rare plants growing under a canopy of stunted hemlock and black ash. The accumulation of peat mosses along with woody debris makes this habitat a carbon sequestration powerhouse. These rich old growth soils support a lush ground flora, Unusual plants like spotted wintergreen and wild orchids rely on specialized relationships with soil fungi to thrive. Of the 500 plant species growing at the College Lodge, at least 40 rely exclusively on these old growth habitats. The College Lodge forest needs your help. Once our community matches a $200,000 challenge gift, we will have reached our fundraising goal and can purchase the forest, saving it forever. We have until December 31st, 2020 to meet that goal. Would you consider making a donation today? Visit wnylc.org slash donate.